Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and what I want to talk to you guys today about are ketones. So we just got done doing a fast training week in my resetter group, and there's a couple of takeaways that I had uh, watching our resetters go through a three to five day water fast. And I think the biggest takeaway is helping you all understand what your numbers mean. Is the goal to get in the deepest ketosis that you possibly could? Are you wanting to get your blood sugar down to the lowest it could go? Like what, are, and what's a safe range? Um, and, and how do you know if your ketones are getting too high? These are questions that I feel like we really need to address as you guys move forward with your fasting lifestyle. So today is about ketones. I really want to explain the four different levels of ketones, what you're trying to do with ketones as far as the numbers go, and how do you know where your sweet spot personally is. So let me start off with just showing you this book. We don't actually, I, I find on many of the people teaching keto right now, don't quote this book enough. And this is really one of the books that started it all. Um, I went and looked up the copyright of this book is 2011. So it's been around for a while. And it was written by um, two different doctors, uh, Dr. Volek and Dr. Finney. And basically they wanted to see the effects of the low carb diet on the human body. And this was really one of the books that started the whole movement of the ketogenic world. So that along with some of Dominic D'Agostino's work. But what I found interesting as I dove into this book in research for this video today is that um, there were, there, he, they talk about four different phases that you will go through with ketosis. And as I go through these four phases, what I want you to think about is which phase are you aiming for? So again, the goal may not be to get the most ketones. The goal might be that you just want to get over 1.0. So let me start with these four phases. So phase number one, anything over 0.5 is considered nutritional ketosis. So from about 0.5 millimoles to one millimoles, you're in a light ketosis. So I always tell my patients that this is like you've gone from that sugar burner, you've switched over now into a fat burner. Awesome, we love that, okay? This is a great starting point, and so many of you, you guys just may need to start there. You might just need to get used to like getting the body into ketosis, and if you get over 0.5, congratulate yourself. This isn't a time to compare notes with other people um, that have been doing ketosis for a while, or your spouse, or anybody that's doing it with you. Okay, so nutritional ketone, ketosis, first level, anywhere between 0.5 to 1.0. Okay, the second level is what we call optimal ketosis or what I hear a lot of people talk about and I would experience this or I would say this for myself as well, is this is the sweet spot. This is where you got that really good mental clarity. This is where uh, you feel you know, just energized, you're not really hungry. And that is the sweet spot goes from 1.0 to 3.0, okay? So a lot of you guys that are doing one meal a day, you're gonna get into the sweet spot, no problem. Um, I've heard Dominic D'Agostino, who has done a ton of research on, uh, on Navy SEALs and ketosis and epilepsy and ketosis, he talks a lot about how a little bit over 1.0 is his sweet spot. And he, he's like this big buff bodybuilder and all he's looking to get into is about 1.1, 1.2. So most of us that apply the ketogenic diet to our weekly variations, we're looking for somewhere between 1.0 and 3.0. This is great for weight loss. Those of you that are trying to lose weight, this sweet spot, if you can hang in that sweet spot, uh, more often than not, you're gonna be burning more fat. So that's fabulous. Okay, third level is what we call therapeutic ketosis. And uh, therapeutic ketosis is for those of you that are trying to heal cancer, you're trying to heal epilepsy, you're trying to really unstick yourself from a severe metabolic condition, or maybe you've got uh, type two diabetes. You know, there's some condition you're coming to fasting and the ketogenic diet for to heal yourself. So that range, therapeutic ketosis, is 3.0 to 5.0. 
So I mentioned this last week during our, our fast training week that one of the reasons I like to do two to three day water fasts, um, two to three um, different water fasts a year is to fight off cancer cells and reboot my immune system and get some more stem cells. I'm looking for that therapeutic ketosis, but I'm not looking for that therapeutic ketosis all the time because I'm not trying to heal a condition, I'm trying to prevent conditions. So those of you that are in prevention mode, gosh, you know what? You do some longer fasts, you do a little stricter keto, you get a, somewhere between 3.0 and 5.0, and you're riding in that area a couple times a year, you're doing great, you're doing awesome. Like your body is in this, in this accelerated healing state. If you've got cancer, if you've got epilepsy, if you've got an autoimmune condition, and you really need to dive in and accelerate healing, this is the range you're gonna want. 3.0 to 5.0, okay? Then the fourth one range is what we call fasting ketosis. So most of you that do longer than a three-day water fast, you're gonna see that you're gonna go get in this range between 5.0 and 8.0. So these are like, I've got patients that are really battling some severe cancer situations. Um, these are, again, we're back in prevention. Typically, you're not going to get into these ranges um, unless you're fasting. So most people on a ketogenic diet um, mixed with fasting won't go into the 5.0, 8.0 range. But those of you that are looking for, again, prevention or you want to accelerate the healing, that's your range, 5.0 to 8.0. Okay, so four different ranges. Nutritional ketosis, sweet spot ketosis, therapeutic ketosis, and fasting ketosis. Now those are four different levels and I would encourage you, this is why I love diet variation. Go watch my video on diet variation because you can, you can go in and out of these levels all the time. I, we did a water fast last week in the um, Resetter group and here on YouTube. Um, this week, I'm not looking to be in a deep ketosis. Last week, yeah, I wanted to be in, in a deeper ketosis. So just play with this. It's very fluid it, um, and, I, and I can't encourage you enough to go, okay, what's my level that I want to achieve? And then do your, uh, organ organize your fast and your, and your keto diet accordingly. Okay, I wanna throw out there the last zone, and this is a zone I really do not encourage anybody get into. I call it the warning zone, and that's greater than 8.0. So if you're a diabetic and or, or a pre-diabetic, your 8.0 and your blood sugar is getting into the 200s, you need to stop the fast, that is not good. So this is why we're so adamant in, on, on this channel and in my Resetter group that you guys measure as you go into more restriction with the ketogenic diet, with fasting. I really want you to measure because if your blood sugar is going up and your ketones are going up, your body's going into what we call ketoacidosis and that is a dangerous place. So monitoring your blood sugar, monitor, monitoring your ketones is crucial not only to help you understand what your body's doing, but to avoid something like getting in this warning zone, okay? So, and as far as measurement goes, I am not a fan of measuring urine. I'm a fan of measuring blood. Um, I've said this before here on my channel that the um, Keto Mojo is our favorite. That's the one that we like. Uh, just because the strips are the cheapest, um, I find, you know, we now have, uh, you know, like over 100,000 people that we're putting through fasts every month and the Keto Mojo is the one that I'm seeing people um, finding are the most user-friendly and the most cost-effective. Um, doesn't mean there aren't other good ones that are out there. Okay, four different, four different levels. You get to choose what you're looking for and, um, and adjust your ketones accordingly. So as always, I, you know, I really hope these videos help. If you wanna dive into understanding blood sugar and ketones more, Join me in the academy. That's what we're doing in there is really getting in a group environment, helping people understand the numbers for themselves. So um, yeah, so as always, uh, so grateful for all of you that share my videos, grateful for the feedback that you give us. I know how many of you love the fasting chart. Uh, we got more cool charts coming, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and every Thursday I'm coming live to you to answer your questions. So as always, I hope that helps.